Hey guys, it's Travis from the Third Gear Speed Shop with a long overdue video for you guys. Um, haven't really been making many videos, but I have been working at the bench and I have this final uh, build video for you guys just in time for the Race of Gentlemen. So um, it's Wednesday and on Friday I'll be leaving to go to the Race of Gentlemen in New Jersey. I'm super excited about it. It'll be my first time going. And I wanted to get this build finished before I left and it's been finished a couple weeks. Um, a couple weeks ago I wrapped this one up. But anyway, um, thought I would share it with you guys. I didn't put any videos out in its construction but um, I'll throw some videos of, you know, build, build pictures uh, at the end of this video so you can kind of see uh, what went into it. So um, basically what it is, it's, um, it's a early sprint car, bobtail speedster um, that would have run on the dirt tracks in the 30s, maybe late 20s, but definitely through the 30s. And it's based on a Model T frame that I uh, cut down, I shortened, and um, the AMT, um, I cut up a, a part of a AMT Trophy Series kit for the frame. I uh, kicked up the rear probably about three or four inches and put a Model A rear cross member in it as well as a Model A uh, rear end and spring. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in this light but I uh, relocated the spring behind the um, behind the axle instead of on top of it. Um, all the Model A parts um, in this build came from the 31 Woody by Ravel. Um, so most of the kit parts are Model A parts from, from that kit. Uh, so the rear has rear brakes but no front brakes. Um, and then the, so the rear brakes are manual and I scratch built the manual brakes if you can see the little manual brake rods there and then on the side here I put a lever um, and uh, it's connected you can't see it because I have a belly pan but it is connected by a rod that goes from one side of the frame to the other and then up front I modified the steering um, I made my own spindles and I modified the 31 Woody um, steering to better uh, serve my purposes better uh, without the front brakes. So that was a little bit of a challenge. I, um, uh, I got it, made my own little front perch for the springs. Um, the grill is a, um, if you're familiar with the 29 Ford uh, Rat Rod pickup kit by Ravel, uh, that is what I used. Um, I flipped it upside down, so in the kit it would be more like that. But anyway, I flipped it upside down and cut it out a, um, an opening for the grill, and then I used a 37, piece of a 37 Ford truck grill to go into the shell and then around the opening I just used if you can see I just used round piece of thin styrene to um, to finish it out and then I used um, different bolt details um, if you can see in the front uh, used railroad bolt details to detail it out uh, the engine is a uh, flathead Ford, but I made my own overhead valve uh, Miller Krager head for it. Um, and again, it's probably a little hard to see because everything is painted black, but um, quite, a, quite a bit of work went into, um, went into the head alone. 
And so that's it on that side. And then on this side, if I can flip around, um, I made my own valve cover um, out of uh, different different kit parts that have been cut down and modified. The side cover is from um, the 53 Ford um, pickup kit from AMT. It's actually a, a valve cover, or I'm sorry, uh, air filter um, piece out of that kit. And um, so I repurposed that to use for the side cover. Uh, a couple of Strombergs, and uh, I I made the um, the exhaust uh, scratch built the exhaust, uh, put some header wrap on it, and uh, weathered it up. And um, the body is scratch built out of styrene. I just curved a piece of uh, flat styrene around a firewall that I had made to mimic the shape of the grill. And then that little visor piece was again a piece of uh, flat styrene that I just uh, shaped and can't really see it but in the, the seat area the the um, the body you can kind of see it right there the body curves around and um, the seat just fits right into there that's a modified AMT piece scratch built the um, gas tank and um, let's see what else um, if you can see the steering wheel uh, I think that's an AMT piece as well there's pedals in there that you can't see and some uh, gauges decals um, that I put in there and I wired and plumbed the engine um, just basic wiring and plumbing I've got a an oil system there and a um, and the fuel line that's going up and then this piece right here, uh, if you can see that, is a uh, manual fuel pump from the uh, Midget kit, the uh, Ravel Offy or um, Offenhauser Midget kit. And I use that for the manually pumped fuel. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we are with that one. Um, I thought it turned out pretty cool. It's a very... Very tiny, lots of uh, small parts packed into a very small little package. And um, you'd have to be a contortionist to drive the thing. But um, anyway, I thought it turned out pretty good. I, I was happy with the way everything turned out, all the modifications that I did, did to it, uh, you know, took, took some time. But and all the scratch building that was done to it um, took quite a bit of time. But um, yeah, uh, I thought it thought it turned out pretty good. So um, I'm excited to uh, move on to other projects. I have a, one more final build. Um, I did finish the 34 Ford Jalopy uh, dirt track car that we were doing the how to on the flathead. So I'm going to be putting that video up uh, shortly as well. And um, I've got more updates on the Dirt Track Camaro also. So um, having said that, I'll end this video here and um, hope you guys are well. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, guys.